Good morning and welcome to another Monday morning message for beautiful leaders. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and um, I hope things are, you're in taking time out to enjoy your summer vacations and holidays. I know I'm trying to get some of that in before the summer gets behind us. Today, I wanna talk about wounds, W-O-U-N-D-S and the concept or the notion of healing. Um, we have been through a lot over the past year in our personal lives, in our workplace, in the economy, um, in the social and civic spaces that we occupy in our global economic systems and structures. Um, we are experiencing those wounds at all levels of our being, uh, individually and collectively. Um, you feel it every time you go to the supermarket and the things that you're used to getting and being able to reach are no longer available or you order something online and all of a sudden um, you're told that your sofa, which was supposed to be here in May, isn't gonna arrive until October. This all speaks to the ways in which we're living in not only a wounded society or in a wounded relationship, but we're actually for the first time in a very conscious way, living in a wounded world. And uh, we can blame it all on COVID if we want to, but honest, let's be honest with ourselves. Um, COVID in a way has less to do with the wound and more to do with the acknowledgement of the wounds that have been around for a long time in our society and in the world. It's just now that we're called upon because of COVID to pay attention to them, that we can actually name hurt, we can name woundedness, and we can ask for and demand um, processes and infrastructures for healing. So that's a good thing. I want to talk to you today because I'm motivated by an incredible quote that a friend of mine recently shared with me from Rumi. Rumi is a Sufi mystic and um, an incredible poet. And he wrote poets, wrote poems um, hundreds of years ago. I can't remember which century. <clears throat> but I thought it was a really profound quote as it relates to what it means to lead. The quote is, the wound is where the light enters you. A wound is where the light enters you. Now, what does that mean? Well, what it means is really quite simple. It's that it's when we're wounded or when we're observing woundedness in others that we have an opportunity to bring forward something that makes that wound the source of our strength, the source of our healing, and the source of our wholeness. I was recently working with, a, with a, a, an organization that was um, working with a new leader and they asked for a healing session as the new leader entered the organization. And that is an unusual request for a new leader of any organization to receive from the employees that, that he or she might be inheriting but it is a testament to the moment that we're in right now. And so in that, as a result of that request, I worked with the leadership and with the organization to facilitate a healing session. And it was all built around this notion that the wound is where the light enters you. And it really looked at the ways in which we need to engage upon our three selves, the past self, which is that person that we're in conversation with, the things that happened to us when we were you know, someplace else where we felt less powerless, the present self, the moment that we're in right now, the opportunity that we can create for ourselves, the, the obstacles that we can avoid through our consciousness and our intentionality and our behaviors and our actions. And then the future self. And the future self is really that person that we are becoming, that person that we know is inside of us screaming to get out. It's the person that motivates us. And most importantly, it's our North Star. And as beautiful leaders, we are becoming leaders who lead with care, with transparency, and with trust. But in terms of how we heal other people, we have to use that care, that transparency, and that trust to be the light that enters them where they are wounded. And that is a message that I want to leave. And the question I want to ask you today 
is what is the light that you are being when you experience people, employees, colleagues, even superiors who are wounded? Can you and do you know how and are you interested in being the light that enters them through your leadership, through your listening, through your understanding, through your compassion, through your accountability? Are you willing to be the light that enters them? So just think about that. That is my message for you this week. Um, I hope you all have a great week and we'll talk soon. You can always send me a question at asktoby at safio, S-A-F-I-O-O dot C-O-M. Take care.